Well, I am back again after taking a um, break for vacation. So I went back out and collected my cards and I found the usual gray fox, obviously, and a few surprises. Here there is a um, hiker out collecting elk antler sheds. Um, and he has his dog, so I'm wondering whether he uses his dog to do that. Here's a familiar elk, one that has what I call dead antlers. They're just not shedding. And uh, on this trail, we have the usual elk coming up at night, very seldom during the day. I do see deer there during the day, but, but not elk. Here we see uh, fresh antlers growing. The older ones have obviously lost theirs, and now they're starting to uh, grow them back. At this point, I'm not seeing hardly any elk with their antlers anymore. They're all dropped and growing back. Here's that same trail. Um, probably had 10, 15, 20 minutes of video of these two deer just uh, lounging around here. I think I had put salt down there one time, so there's some salt located in the, uh, still embedded in the dirt there. So they enjoyed that and kept uh, nibbling or licking on that ground right there. So it must have been when I put salt, but that's been quite a while, several months ago. So, so there was a little competition between the two of them for that salt. And this is a trail which I take down, it's off the main trail, I take down to a new camera location. Here's a few more elk coming up through that same trail. Um, of course in the dark again. It's very interesting that that is always in the dark for that trail. There are other places, many other places and other cameras that elk are seen in the daylight, but not on this trail. Of course, the bears are out of hibernation now. I expected that by this time. Early April they start coming out. So this is a new camera location. Or here's a bull just starting to grow his antlers back one that kind of stayed in front of the camera for a little bit. Um, this is a place with some uh, wild raspberries and strawberries which later in the summer I'm sure will be attracting some bears so I may start to put a bunch of cameras there in that location. I did move another camera too so I have about two There'll be three cameras in that location. Actually, I do have three now. I just put um, two more cameras a week ago in that general location. So that should prove fruitful for bears, which is actually why I brought one set of cameras up in this location. It's mostly for bears and hoping to get a few mountain lions. But no mountain lions lately. This camera location is close to a very deep uh, stream, which is very difficult to cross, and so it pushes them to the side here. Here we have one with just dropped his antlers and just starting to grow back. You can see those nubs on his head there. Really starting to get green up there in the mountains, the ferns growing, the leaves. Uh, coming out on the trees really look starting to look nice and fresh out there of course the elk are going to start shedding their winter coats which will help them to look better and in a few weeks here they will start calving looking forward to the new calves Did get a lot of video from elk and deer here, but obviously 
did cut out a bunch of it. And again, I had almost an hour of, of video. So I had to, um, of course, cut way back. The elk do appear to eat about everything that's nice and green and that they can digest well. So the fresh leaves, they really were into fresh leaves off the trees. You notice the saplings there shaking as they're just pulling off leaves and trying to get some um, of their fat reserves back during the summer here. In the winter they don't eat very well. Here's another group of elk coming through. Actually, it looks like a spike there, or a young bull just starting to grow his, his antlers. That one elk on the left is reaching way up to get those tender, fresh leaves. I noticed on cameras that the um, elk browse and continually keep moving and part of the reason they do this is so they do not overgraze any one spot. It's just kind of a natural tendency for them to do that. There's plenty of feed there. I've always wondered why don't they just stay in one spot and eat until they're full. I mean, why keep going? But part of it is to stay away from predators and also not to overgraze, so it's just kind of a natural instinct for them. Here was a spot, it was an interesting spot, a set of bushes there that the elk and deer like to browse on when they come there. Nothing extra special about that bush that I can see from any other bushes around, but uh, here we have a coyote just kind of standing there um, surveying his surroundings. There's an elk on the same bush again. Must be something tasty about that bush because I added out a, a few a few more here that would come and nibble on that. Here he's got his winter coat looking a bit rough. Here's another bear. Of course, two small cubs. I have a bit more video of, I think, this family of bears, which has a lot of noise involved with it, which we'll see later on here. Here's a coos deer. Don't think I had any uh, mule deer on this uh, set of videos. They're all coos deer. All of these going, there's another bull here. Coming to that same bush. And surprisingly, on May 2nd, we had snow up there. Not much, but an inch or two, I suppose. There we go. Another deer on the same bush. So 
always very interesting to see wild animals do their thing and wonder why it is they do what they do. Now this cow elk is coming in for some grass, some fresh grass. Comes a bull headed for the same bush. The bush must be empty of leaves because peers are moving on. And here's a mama bear. Now you're not going to see the cubs here. It's probably the same one, but you can hear them. She had to go back and get them. There was a problem. Just some um, help there. Just a comment about that uh, bear with the cubs. Um, we didn't actually see the cubs there, but we could hear them. It must have been right behind the camera and just out of view below the camera. Here we have a coyote coming through here. And, and this cow elk, I believe this is a cow, not a young bull, but she was uh, spent quite some time there nibbling as well. But I didn't think anybody wanted to watch her eating for 15 minutes. Here we have a gray fox and of course another bear. Looks almost like that mama bear but uh, can't tell really. So here's another elk coming into uh, feet in this location. Always have to decide whether that camera is too high or too low. Obviously here's another bear, a couple of bears. Here's a hiker that fell down that I caught falling down. Uh, it's not funny but it's interesting to, uh, to see that. But she was okay. Coming up here is a camera that I've kind of placed high on a tree and pointing down so I get some interesting top of the head shots which I wanted to do just to see the bull's handlers. So the bulls have you know anywhere from two to eight inches of growth with some forks already. And they will grow very fast. Here in a month or two they'll be almost fully developed and then just need to lose their uh, their velvet and ready for the fall. So we're nearing the end of my um, video for this week. Um, thanks to all for, um, for watching and I will be putting out some more Whenever I collect them, I'll be collecting next week again. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like. And then you'll know when I post. Okay, have a good day.